Hello everyone, this is Harsh Simran Singh from Lockers. Today I'm going to show you how to add new custom fields, how to add new groups, and how to add custom fields to the groups. So the very first thing you need to do is you have to click on the user avatar on the top right. Click on settings. Click on form settings. Click on custom fields. So you see I have a list of custom fields. The very first list is for matter custom fields and if you click on this tab this is for the contacts how to add a new custom field so you will click on add add a name so let's say what kind of a custom field you want to create so type is is for for that so if you want to add it as a checkbox date number text multi-line text multi-line text is if you want to add a paragraph you can use it for description drop down list so you can build a drop down list by separated by a comma so let's say options are a b c c d e so you can build a drop down list like this contacts if you want to use the contacts you can use this for referred by or something else matters list you can use it for if you want to create like a main matter and a sub matter so you can link matters email address and organization users organization users is really useful if you want to have let's say you want proliferating timekeeper or, or alternating timekeeper 2 or alternating timekeeper 3 so you can have that as well so default is if you mark it as a default, it will always show this field. When, whenever you create a new matter, it will show on the matter form. Required, your users, your staff, they always have to enter this information. Without entering date of marriage, they will not be able to save the matter form. So I will go back. I will make it as a date, date of marriage. I will not make it as a required. I will create a custom field. You can also create the groups. So groups is like if you want to group a similar custom fields for the same practice area into a one group. Using modify order, you can also set the order of the custom fields. So click on modify order and drag and drop. For example, date of marriage you want on the top, you can just drag and drop to the top. So you can set the order of custom fields like this. Import from CSV will allow you to import your custom fields using a comma separated file. If you have a big list, you can import it using CSV file. I will show you custom groups, how the custom groups work. So you can create a new custom group for each practice area. Also, you can link it with the practice area as well. So see, I have this custom group. I can create a new custom group. Let's say I want to create a custom group for state planning. Here I can add the fields which are for state planning. So I will say property type. I don't have many, but project type. Associated practice area. This is very important. So what Locus allows you is if you associate a practice area with a custom field group, the moment you select an a practice area, Locus will automatically apply these custom fields which are in this group. So let me show you. So let's say I link this with state planning. Let's do with the states. So I'm going to create a new group now. You see I created this group and I will show you on the divorce. So I will say new matter. You can click on custom fields. You can apply the groups from here as well. And also you can search custom field and then you can apply like this and you can remove them. By default, it doesn't show anything here. So now the moment I select a practice area, so if I select a divorce here, you will see it will automatically apply all the custom fields which were like in a divorce group because we linked it to a practice area. So if I click here now, you see the moment I did, it apply all the custom fields here for divorce. Thank you very much.